What up humans? Karumi here, and welcome to the Mobile Legends Bootcamp. In this video, we are going to talk about the fighter tank hero, Hilda. Hilda has a good set of regeneration effects dash, area of effect and bears skills. Our power of Megalith, Hilda, is a fighter tank hero. I consider Hilda as a sustaining fighter since she gains a shield and health regeneration when inside a bush. Not only that, her ultimate skill can instantly burst squishy targets. Now, let me share some tips and tricks on how to use Hilda based on my experience. We will also teach you some combos and techniques on the latter part of this bootcamp. But before that, let me explain her skills one by one for further understanding. Hilda's passive, Blessing of Wilderness, lets Hilda have an advantage while inside the bush. When Hilda is inside a bush, she regenerates a percentage of her max health every second. When she enters a bush, she gains a shield equal to a percentage of her max health as well for a few seconds. This shield gaining ability has a cooldown. Hilda's first skill combat ritual lets Hilda run faster. Using this skill will buff Hilda's movement speed for a few seconds and her next basic attack is enhanced. The enhanced basic attack will deal additional physical damage and will slow down the target hit. The enhanced basic attack will also deal damage to targets behind the initial target. Hilda's second skill, Art of Hunting, lets Hilda smash her enemies with her axe. This skill can be used three times at most. The first instance will deal damage to the initial target. The second instance will deal damage to the target and its surroundings. The last instance will deal damage and knock back the target and surrounding enemies. Hilda's ultimate skill, Power of Wildness, lets Hilda release a burst attack towards a target. Using this skill will make Hilda jump towards her target and will deal massive physical damage. Enemies hit will also be stunned for a short period. Nearby enemies will take a percentage of damage from this skill. Each killer assists earned by Hilda all throughout the game enhances this skill's damage this can be stacked up to 8 times. When the max stacks are reached, the damage of this skill is enhanced by a huge percentage and will ignore a huge percentage of the enemy's physical defense. There are so many items that you can buy for Hilda. You can focus on items that grants physical attack, physical damage reduction, health and defense and items that boosts our regenerating abilities. You can consider the Hill Tank build if you prefer to be a tank for your team. You can also consider the Hill Tarzan build if you prefer to deal more damage to jungle monsters. But let's talk about the Kurumi way further. As a starting item, you can consider Warrior Boots. This item grants you additional physical defense and movement speed. Its unique passive grants additional physical defense as buff on each basic attack received. The physical defense received can stack and can reach to a maximum of 25 points. This lasts for a few moments. You can consider buying attack items such as Blade of the Heptases. This grants physical attack, health points and physical defense reduction. Its unique passive grants additional physical damage on your next basic attack to a single target when no damage is taken or dealt within a few seconds. You also might want to consider Blade of Despair. This item grants additional physical attack and movement speed. Its unique passive will give you additional physical attack when the target's health is below a certain percentage. The movement speed bonus can also help you chase enemies or escape death. You can also consider Malefic Roar. This item grants physical attack and physical penetration. Also, basic attacks will ignore some of the turret's defense. You might want to consider Oracle. This grants health points, magical defense and cooldown reduction. 
Its unique passive increases shield absorption and HP regeneration effects. This can significantly boost the regeneration effects you receive from your passive skill. And this also affects health gained from spell vamp. Lastly, you might want to consider immortality. This grants you physical defense and health points. Its unique passive lets you resurrect after 2 seconds upon death. This resurrects you and give you 15% health points and a shield that lasts for a few seconds. This item has a really long cooldown. The item build for Hilda really depends on the enemy's lineup. So make sure to read each item's description so you can adapt in-game. One of the best spells to be used on Hilda is the Forbidden Jutsu Execute. This deals a certain amount of true damage to the target. The damage also depends on the enemy's lost health points. This spell ignores the shield effect of the target. If the target has been slain using Execute, its cooldown will be reduced. You can also consider Sprint. This can really help you run from danger, or chase enemies. In my opinion, the best emblem set to be used is the Custom Assassin Emblem set. Custom Assassin Emblem could provide extra stats according to your needs as an assassin. Set agility to its max level because it can give you additional movement speed. Higher movement speed means higher chance to chase enemies or escape death. Setting invasion to max level will provide you physical penetration. Higher physical penetration means higher damage on your basic attacks and skills. Get high and dry to increase your damage to the target when he is the only nearby hero. This is advisable when you try ganking a single hero. But in case you are not that type, just consider bounty hunter or killing spree instead. Set second skill to max level first. Prioritizing this makes the damage of this skill higher. That means, you can deal more damage to enemy heroes and clear lanes easily with this. Prioritize first skill lessens your second skill is what you need to deal more damage to enemies. Always upgrade ultimate skill when available for upgrading. Hilda was reworked recently and her damage output was boosted massively especially her ultimate skill. Now you have the power to be a burst assassin while trying to tank for your teammates. Hilda's passive skill is what you need to survive in some team fights. With the ability to gain shield and health regeneration, you can be more durable in the early game during the laning phase. Take note that the bush is your best friend. When your health is low, instead of going back to base, you can choose to chill inside bushes to regenerate some of the health lost. This way, you won't miss a single experience from the lane minions. Also, when trying to engage coming from a bush is a good thing since you will be buffed with a shield. You can even perform a clutch move when you are dying. When enemies are trying to chase you, just head over a bush to gain a shield and health regeneration. This increases your survivability definitely. Just take note that the shield buff has a cooldown before it grants you a shield again. With all the durability and sustainability granted by your passive, you should utilize having team fights inside the bush as much as possible, even just killing jungle monsters. Hilda's first skill is what you need to charge towards the team fight. Using the skill grants Hilda movement speed and her next basic attack is enhanced which can slow down the enemies. You can use the movement speed bonus to charge towards your target easily. Using the enhanced basic attack will make you leap towards the target making them have their movement speed reduced as well. With their movement speed reduced, it's easier to connect your combo. You can just surprise the enemies that a predator is coming for their lives. The enhanced basic attack works also on turret, so you can use this when you want to backdoor enemy turrets that are almost dying. The movement speed can also help run away from enemies to escape death. Hilda's second skill is what you need to deal decent damage to the target and enemies nearby. You can use this skill for 3 times within a certain duration. Using this skill will make Hilda leap a little bit towards a target. This is good especially when you are chasing an enemy hero. With the last two instances being able to damage enemies nearby, it can help you in your combat against multiple enemies. You can use the combo of your first and second skill to harass enemies in the laning phase. The splash damage from the last two instances can also help you clear out lanes faster. Hilda's ultimate skill is what you need to instantly finish off enemies even if their health is more than 50%. Using this skill will deal massive damage to the target. 
Also, the enemies nearby will receive a percentage of damage from the initial damage. With this, skills burst damage. It's easy to kill squishy targets. Using this skill will make Hilda leap towards a target. This is good especially when you are chasing an enemy hero. The leap from this skill can chase the target even if dies and goes to heaven. With your first skill's movement speed, you can easily be chased dying enemies and have your ultimate skill do a slam dunk. Take note that this skill is enhanced every time Hilda gets a kill or an assist. Reaching 8 stacks will add a physical penetration effect on it. Even without using your ultimate skill, a stack will still be added as long as it's a kill or an assist. Take note that also even on level 1, you can gain buff stacks for your ultimate skill. With full stacks, your damage can even reach more than 3000 damage with the right physical damage items. Also, make sure to use this skill at the right timing after the enemy uses their dash or blink skills for a smooth kill. Lastly, this skill can be casted to every breathing enemy target out there except for the Lord. This can be used on jungle monsters and the turtle without having a cap damage. Here we are again with our experiments. We have our lab rats, Rakuten and Issa, to demonstrate with us some heroes that can greatly counter or dominate Hilda in-game. First we have Esmeralda. Esmeralda's first skill steals shield from nearby enemies. So it would be awful if you buff Esmeralda more with a shield from your passive skill in the bush. Next we have Baxia. Baxia's passive debuffs the regeneration rate of enemies hit by his skills. So if you are hit by Baxia, the health regeneration from your passive skill will be less. Next up we have Valir. Let's see if Valir's knockback from his second skill can cancel Hilda's ultimate skill. As you can see, Hilda was pushed back with the damage from her ultimate skill still pushed through. This just shows that you can't just break up with Hilda by pushing her away. Next, we have Gord. Let's see if the stun from Hilda's ultimate skill can cancel his channeling. As you can see, Gord still pukes rainbows even after being stunned temporarily. Gord is indeed one unstoppable being with his ultimate skill. Next, we have Leslie. Take note that Hilda's passive grants her a shield when inside the bush. So if you are dying and Leslie uses her ultimate skill on you, just head over to the bush and pray your passive is not on cooldown. This will grant you a shield to perform a clutch play to survive the assault from Leslie. Same goes when Harley uses his ultimate skill on you, just before the burst explosion from his ultimate skill. You can head over the bush to gain a shield to increase your survival. Next, we have the item called Twilight Armor. Twilight Armor's passive reduces the physical damage received down to a certain amount. This passive is triggered when a user receives physical damage above a certain threshold. Knowing that Hilda's ultimate skill deals more than 3000 damage this will definitely trigger the passive thus making the physical damage from this skill lower than expected. So better avoid targeting that hero as much as possible. Next we have Xborg. Xborg's health bar consists of his Faraga armor and health. So even if Hilda has full stacks and decent items her ultimate skills damage won't exceed the Faraga armor. So it would be best if you destroy the Faraga armor first, then deal your ultimatum. Next up, we have Masha. Same goes with Masha's health. No matter how high your ultimate skill's damage is, it won't exceed the current health bar of Masha. Next, we have Diggy. Let's see if we can still use our ultimate skill even if Diggy's second skill will pull us away. As you can see, we were restricted to leap for Diggy. But the good thing is that the damage from our ultimate skill went through. Last but not the least, we have Fanny. Let's see if Hilda's ultimate skill will chase Fanny while on mid-air. As you can see, Hilda chased Fanny a little bit but her body didn't follow through since it's really far. But Fanny received the damage nonetheless. So this is what long distance relationship with Hilda feels like. In terms of her combo, we usually follow an extremely simple combo for Hilda. We use two combos most of the time. So for the first combo, we use this combo when the enemy doesn't have mobility skills such as flicker or blink. First, stay in the bush to be granted with a shield from your passive. Then, when the target arrives near you, use your first skill and deal the enhanced basic attack to slow the target. Then, use all the instances of your second skill. Then, you can use your ultimate skill whenever if you think the enemy is escaping too much. This will stun the target temporarily to delay their escape. You can use execute if the enemy is still alive. The other combo is pretty similar to the first combo we taught you. But we use this combo when the enemy has mobility skills that can let them escape from us easily. 
first. We gain a shield inside the bush. Then we use our first skill and charge towards the target. Then, use your ultimate skill to rip their internal organs off and stun them temporarily. Then deal the enhanced basic attack to slow the target further. If ever the enemy is still alive, you can use your second skill while the target is stunned. The leap from the second skill will let you chase them up to the depths of heaven. Then use execute whenever your gut tells you it's the time to do so. Additional tip, be always patient when using Hilda. Your ultimate skill can rip off enemies in an instant. So it's best to camp on spots that you feel that squishy enemies will be passing by. This is best especially when your allies know your evil plans to destroy humanity. The tips I mentioned are just some of the ways you can use Hilda. This video just guides you on how to use Hilda, the Kurumi way. We would like to thank our cutie lab rats, Rakuten and Isa, for being our lab rats for this boot camp. You can search for them in-game and tell them how much you appreciate them. Willing to sacrifice their pride and honor for our sake. Watch their in-game streams and send some flowers and hearts. So, once again, this is Kurumi and that's how you use Hilda. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to our channel for more contents by clicking on the subscribe button below. For our skin giveaway events. Check out the community tab for the giveaway post. We have our coffee account just in case you want to donate us some coffee funds. Check out our coffee link on the description of this video. Please, only trust boot camp videos from our official accounts. See you on the next Mobile Legends Bootcamp. Cheers.